What's up, beautiful people? I hope you're having a wonderful Monday so far. It's me, Zeal, again with a Monday message. And I wanted to come to you guys about the importance of prayer. It never has a set time or season in the Word of God when we're talking about the importance of prayer. It just always says, watch and pray, pray without ceasing. Um, uh, just keeping your eyes open and pray with diligence and seek the Lord always. Meditate on His Word day and night, right? But we're in some dark days, and I feel like um, there's a calling on some of you guys out there to really hone in even more so. Uh, about the importance of prayer, whether it's no matter what you're praying in your car on your way to work, instead of half the time, it's like, no, we need the whole time to do some warfare or repentance or some worship. And it's just the seeking of the Lord as, um, yeah, the, the darkness and the different things that are being poured out in this season and in the earth are increasing. And the church hallelujah, through the spirit of God can bring about the change and withhold things from coming through prayer. Prayer is so powerful. I will never fully understand the importance and power behind prayer. I just know I'm called to do it. And then when you feel God's presence come upon you during prayer and you feel his, his voice speaking to you and you're getting clarity and different things like that through prayer, and you're seeing things break in the spiritual realm through prayer. It's so important to stay um, in that mindset of realizing the importance of that. So I wanted to read um, Luke chapter 21, verse 34 through 36. And it says, that my title on here says, The Importance of Watching. But take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing drunkenness and cares of this life, and that day come upon you unexpectedly, that day meaning when Jesus comes back, it comes upon you unexpectedly, for it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch, therefore, and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. We can't pray our way into salvation, so that's not what the scripture is really talking about. We can't earn our salvation with how many hours we put into prayer or how um, how worn the carpet is on the area that we pray. <laughs> we can't earn it, y'all. It's just talking about the necessity to understand the fight. It's the necessity to be aware of what's going on around you constantly. And especially if you're on fire for God, you should really be praying because you're an enemy to God. And it's really an, a cloak of honor to be an enemy to the, I'm sorry, you're an enemy to the enemy. And it's a cloak of honor to be an enemy to the enemy. Um, even though you get attacked and things like that, but the prayers of the righteous availeth much. And I just want to encourage some of you guys that have been praying for something for a long time. Do not waver in your faith. Don't waver. If it's the will of God, if you're praying according to the thing, the heart of God that you read about in his scriptures, if you're praying according to that, I pray that God opens up a window of heaven and pour out blessing, that there won't be room enough to receive it. And I pray you're doing the other practical things that he's called you to do so that there's no delay, that there's no open door for um, um, different things to not happen. And that there be this um, urgency in your heart for any cleansing spiritually as well, um, because that's a part of it as well, you guys. And just really asking the Lord to search us and know us through prayer. Um, I was watching this video, <laughs> powerful testimony, and this guy was talking about um, how he saw a breakthrough in a certain part of the land because a certain group of people got together and without um, hesitancy, or they made like a pact to say, we're going to pray for a certain amount of days, for a certain amount of hours, and we're going to be on one heart, on one accord, one mind. Just like in the upper room on Pentecost, the day of Pentecost, they kind of had that same posture. And the power that was pushed out into the land through their prayers, when they were of one accord and they believed God, was so powerful. So 
Um, I just pray for you and your heavy heart. If you need to DM me, DM me or anything like that, if you're feeling heavy in your prayers, like, man, I've been praying for this for so long and it's not breaking. I too have some prayers that need to break or need to see breakthrough on. And But I hope and pray that one thing that encourages me now is my timing sucks. <laughs> Even though I... I I have never met anybody that's like, I love God's timing. Ah, I don't mind. You know, it's like, I I think my timing is better than God, but it always sucks. My timing is always worse than the Lord. That's why I need to be in prayer. Like, should I say it right now, Lord? Should I go here now? Should I? Okay, thanks. Here I go. Or, all right. All right. And here I go. He gives you a flow that will give you access and he'll give you a flow that will give you um, favor and joy and peace because it's no longer you in control, but the Lord, who is the beginning and the end. He knows everything in between. So why would we want to be in control? So I hope that gives you peace while you wait and tarry for your prayers to be answered. As I wait and tarry for certain prayers of mine to be answered as well. And in the meantime, we ask the Lord, search me, know me, create in me a clean heart, renew in me a right spirit. Um, any darkness in me that might be hindering things, um, cleanse me, Jesus, with your precious blood. And after we've done that work, it's just like, okay, Lord, it's your timing. Help us to trust you differently in this season. Help us to not lose heart, Jesus. As you are the way, the truth, and the life, help our hope to rise like never before. Hope is powerful. Hallelujah. So I just pray that you're encouraged. I pray for the church and pastors to be encouraged in this season to stand firm on the word of God because it's very contrary to a lot of things going on in the word the world and um I just pray we stand in the same mindset just like we saw in the day of Pentecost where we see God's power go forth like never before so I I encourage you to just keep praying um not with condemnation at all pray as the Lord leads or even dive in and just say God I know you didn't ask me to do this but I just want to pray more blah 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 there's so much download that you can get from just being in the presence of Jesus. And um, if there's something you're fighting um, in your life, the power, the power of prayer, I can't even explain it. I've been seeing so many things that I, you know, you get disheartened. I thought were impossible that I'm seeing breaking now recently. And I just say that to encourage people because... If I got in that place of discouragement, I'm just a human like everybody else. I know somebody else on this other end has been in that same place. So why not encourage you? Like, hold on, sis. Hold on, bro. Um, God is with you and he is for you. Pray according to his word and according to his will with a pure heart. I love you. I hope you go out there and release the zeal you have for Jesus. Um, he is with you. He loves you. And um, until next time, I love you. <laughs> All right, bye.